So other than that, uh, we're going to talk about Sonic news. Other than, you know, if we don't have any revolution news, we'll talk about Sonic news and holy crap, we got a bunch of Sonic news to talk about. And oh. uh, I actually it's been a lot's happened in the past what month now yeah no, i know yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and uh and ultimate coming out today if that, mm-hmm. that is if you got the digital deluxe version yep um mm. i'm actually going to start out this new section with a really really bad joke so just follow along with me here and just uh uh amuse me or whatever <laughs> uh so uh knock knock who's there who's there Who's Idris- there? <laughs> Idris Elba. Idris Elba who? Idris oh, Elba is Knuckles in Sonic 2, guys! <laughs> but yeah. the- yeah. heard about that. that got a lot of attention. Oh, oh man. For those who locked him in Zootopia and Jungle Book, the live action remake, now you can see him in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it- one of those picks where you don't realize how perfect it is until you like actually look at what he's done. It's like... Why didn't we think of this in the first place? Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> so it's like this was what revealed almost about a month ago, right? Yes. Uh, round yeah, August give or take, yeah. Yep. Mm. But it it was like it, it was one of those things that I never thought about, but when it was actually brought up, I was like, yeah, I I can see that. I I, I can. Um. Uh, and, and you know, I I remember Aegis over from a lot. You know, a lot of other stuff. We you know we talk about uh. Zootopia, he was uh, Chief Bogo. Uh, he was right. also Heimdall. So he was Heimdall do. from um, uh, Thor. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. And he was also the bad guy from uh, Star Trek in- Into Darkness. Not Into Darkness. Uh, fudge, that, that third reboot Star Trek movie. I know what you're talking about. Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness was the one with Khan, I believe. Right, that was the second right. one. But this yeah, this one is talking about one. the third one. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, Twitch chat, let, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yes. Over here talking. Please. I, know we I, 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 I call myself a Trekkie, and yet I can't even remember what the third... The third one just didn't leave too much of an impact. That's probably why I can't remember the third the title of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, uh, Idris Elba, that's... Like I said, that's going to be interesting to see. And it, it was, like, really interesting... Um, that uh yeah he tweeted out that's how he let everybody know he just kind of tweeted out this uh cryptic uh tweet here uh where he was like knock knock he must have had gotten that approved because there's oh, no way down. that <laughs> yeah oh yeah for sure and especially the, you know when of course that uh that artwork there that's definitely you know that looks like official artwork so you know he had to get that from somewhere they probably approved that. Yeah, <laughs> of course they did. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same people that, that made the Sonic model, and hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be as good as the Sonic model from the final version of the movie, <laughs> and not as bad as the Sonic model from the first trailer. Right. <laughs> well, especially <laughs> since we got it's the old dad. Like what? Uh, the the production team that worked on like the animation side weren't they like out of the job or something? Um, yeah. Unrelated yeah. to the Sonic movie. Yeah. Yeah, so after they, I'm yeah, hoping after they, that's like the same people because they put a lot of work into the last movie. Well, yeah, I think no. after the um after after they worked on the first movie, they they ultimately lost their jobs, which is sad for them because apparently the film did so well, they're probably gonna beg them to come back and do their jobs again. They're probably key personnel that they're gonna bring back to the set, so that way, you know, they know what they have to do, what they're looking at, and how to execute the plan properly. Right. Yeah. I'd imagine it'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, I at least we know, you know, Tyson has this, you know, working on it. So. <laughs> it's in good hands. It's hope. in good hands. Mm-hmm. But yeah. with the voice actor pick, though, I know that a lot of people will talk about, like, oh, uh, do we really need more star power in our animated movies? Well, we already had, uh, you know, the casting for Sonic last movie, so I don't think it's really much of a surprise to have someone yeah. like you know, just Elba to be cast as Knuckles. Yep. And, and uh, it's not a bad pick either, because you can even, uh, if you recall, like, any performance he's done, I had actually researched into it, he can p- do a really pretty good American accent already, so. Mm-hmm. That is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Point Utopia. 
Yeah. Um, right. And I know people do not want to hear this, but it's also really possible that the voice of Tails may be recast with more star power as well now that he's more of a prominent figure instead of a last minute cameo. Also, also mm. let's hope and pray it's not Tom Holland. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Twitter's dream casting. I mean, I, I, love, it out there. <laughs> I, mean I, I love Tom Holland, but yeah. Probably. I don't yes, think anything Please keep Spider-Man out of my Sonic movie. <laughs> no, I, I'd be really sad if they don't recast uh, It would, I, I don't know, because it's like she did a really good job with you know, the the small performance she had at the yeah. end of the last film. Oh, she did. And I think it would just be mm -hmm. better to keep her on hey, for consistency sakes. Hey, no, no one's arguing about that, but you know these Hollywood types, it's like, you know, if it was one thing when it was just like a one-liner uh, situation, you know, why drag a big star to do a one-liner when you just get someone like, you know, Colleen to come in and do her line? Uh, but if you're talking about a movie where the role is much much more prominent they probably want somebody with a little star power behind it just so they can put more butts in the seats or something and the yeah, I, this... I don't think we've heard from calling one way or the other as far as i know i all i can say it's is dicey one... because like they it they, you can't really talk about your projects because then they're in risk of breaking their nda people yeah. asking questions yeah about absolutely that is really mm -hmm. yeah I feel like the the one reason why they want to recast the tails one word, money, ticket sales. Mm -hmm. They yeah. they want they want to pull a big box office, and that's what Hollywood does nowadays. They they got these big stars that come in and voice these roles. They just want they just want people to see the movie. Higher ticket well, yeah, prices. They they want to have it to where they can have a trailer and say that uh, Zendaya is voicing the one of the characters. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Be careful so, of opening the Pandora's box there, my friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just... So, I'm all, just... Go ahead. If, if Amy Rose is in that movie, I'm hoping it's not Zendaya who's voiced... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, oh, she did no. voice Lola in Space Jam 2. Let's just hope she doesn't voice Amy Rose. You've put it out in the universe now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> it's, all it now, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> if anybody, as long as she doesn't sound like Minnie Mouse. Oh God, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's another good point. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm just putting that out there now. Don't be surprised if uh, Tails gets recast for the second movie. So y'all heard it from me. So. <laughs> Uh, and actually, on that, who would be a good idea if they did recast it? Who do you think it would be? Amy who Jones. Do you, think it would be? you know that is a great question. Who would make like, a good who tales? Would, who would make a good tale? My yes. answer. Mm. Cross my finger. What? Well, let's hope it's Amy Jones. We can dream. We can dream. We can dream. Though, because I don't. I don't think anyone like uh, could have predicted who was going to voice Sonic or who was going to voice you know Knuckles. So just picking from like a wide, gigantic pool of Hollywood uh, actors is really difficult. I feel like what they're gonna do is like they're, they're gonna put like every Hollywood star in a dartboard, just throw a dart on it. Just throw a dart <laughs> it's gonna at come it out of left field. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, get him on the phone. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest. I always thought it was it was kind of left field for them picking Jim Carrey being Robotnik. And oh, Jim Carrey is so funny. He is. I understand. He's the one that saved the movie. <laughs> it was yeah. out of left field, but I'm so glad they did. <laughs> well, he was like, you know, um, like interviews and stuff. He was really passionate about the film too. Like, oh, yeah. even at, I think he was ridiculed yeah. at the Oscars. I think about it, and he's like, "Ridicule me all you want. It's gonna be great." No, I think it was the and Emmy. He, he was right. well, I don't think it was the Oscars. I think it was the Emmy Awards. It was one of those awards. Oh, shows. Golden Globes. Golden Globes. I, Golden 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 I didn't even hear about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the one where um, where Jim Carrey was in the audience and he was promoting um, his movie Sonic the Hedgehog, and then was escorted by security out like, out of the building. What? I mean, that's what I that's what I remember. I could be wrong. That's but that's what I think. That's what I think, anyways. But I'm glad Jim Carrey did the role of Robotnik justice. 
Oh, yeah, you did it. You he, did it very well. Oh yeah, I of course I took mm. my mom. I took my mom to to see the movie just simply, you know, because it's like uh, she she saw an interview with Jim Carrey and she's like she had to go see the movie now. Uh, but she she honestly does not like Jim Carrey that much. She doesn't like her his brand of humor. So, I mean, I like Jim Carrey like everything. Um, I'm a huge yeah. fan of Jim Carrey. Just <laughs> yeah, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey has always been my comedic idol, and yeah, um, every com- comic thing I do or anything I do, I always love Jim Carrey's work. Yeah. Um, from his early work from Ace Ventura all the way to Sonic the Hedgehog, I hope he comes back for, for the second movie because that would be amazing. Oh, we will. Absolutely. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. Uh, See, that, that's my yeah, that's More good. <laughs> Okay, I, I think we can move on to our next topic now. 